1. DDoS, Distributed Denial of Service Imagine you're trying to get into your favorite ice cream shop, but a huge crowd of people is blocking the door and won't let anyone enter. This is what a DDoS attack is like. Hackers use many computers across the internet to send a ton of useless traffic to a website or service. Because the website is too busy dealing with this fake traffic, it can't handle real visitors, causing it to slow down or completely stop working. 2. Man in the Middle MyTM, Attack Think of passing a secret note to your friend in class, but someone else grabs it, reads it, and then passes it on without you knowing. A MITM attack happens when a hacker secretly relays and possibly changes the communication between two parties who believe they are directly communicating with each other. This way, the hacker can steal information or manipulate the conversation. Click subscribe to this channel to get more topics you love. Three ARP spoofing. ARP spoofing is like sending fake address labels in a huge apartment building. Normally, your computer sends out messages asking who lives at this address to make sure data reaches the right computer on a network. In ARP spoofing, a hacker responds with, it's me, even if it's not true. This tricks your computer into sending your personal information to the hacker instead. 4. SSL stripping. SSL stripping is like sending a letter with a lock on it, but someone changes the lock to a fake one before it gets to the person you're sending it to. Normally, SSL helps secure your data by encrypting it. However, in SSL stripping, a hacker forces a connection to use a less secure version, or no security at all, allowing them to see or steal the information you thought was protected. 5. DNS spoofing Imagine if you dialed the phone number for your pizza delivery but got connected to a burger joint instead because someone tampered with your phone book. DNS spoofing is similar, it tricks your computer into visiting the wrong website by changing the internet phone book your computer uses. You think you're visiting a safe site, but you're really connecting to a harmful one controlled by a hacker. 6. IP spoofing IP spoofing is like sending a letter with a fake return address. In computer networks, every device has a unique IP address. When a hacker uses IP spoofing, they send messages with a fake IP address pretending to be another device. This can trick computers into thinking the messages are coming from a trusted source. 7. Port Scanning Imagine someone looking through the windows in your house to see if there's an open one to sneak through. Port scanning is when a hacker checks the doors, ports, of a computer or network to find any that are open. By finding open ports, hackers can identify potential weak spots to attack. 8. Packet sniffing Packet sniffing is like secretly listening to other people's conversations. On the internet, data travels in small packets. Using special software, a hacker can capture these packets as they travel through a network. This allows them to see what others are doing online, and possibly steal sensitive information. 9. SWN Flood Imagine you keep calling a pizza shop to place an order, but hang up as soon as they answer. If lots of people did this, the shop would be so busy answering useless calls that genuine customers can't get through. A SYN flood attack overloads a server with initial connection requests but never completes them, making it impossible for the server to handle legitimate requests. 10. ICMP flood Imagine if everyone in your school started shouting in the hallway at the same time. It would be so loud that you couldn't hear your friend standing next to you. An ICMP flood attack sends a massive amount of pings, echo requests, to a computer, overwhelming it with so much noise that it can't process genuine requests. 11. SQL Injection Imagine if you told a librarian, I want every book you have, and they gave them all to you without checking if you should have them. SQL Injection is similar. It happens when a hacker tricks a website into revealing information it shouldn't. 
They do this by sending specially crafted messages that make the website's database give up more data than intended, like private user information. 12. Cross-Site Scripting XSS. Cross-site scripting is like handing out magic glasses at the door of a movie theater that make you see things that aren't really part of the movie. In XSS, hackers insert malicious code into websites that look normal. When you visit such a website, this code can run on your computer, steal your information, or do other harmful things without you knowing. 13. Cross-site request forgery CSRF. Imagine if someone tricked you into sending a prank text from your phone by pretending they needed it for something important. CSRF tricks you into making actions you didn't intend on a website, like changing your email address or password, without realizing it. It uses your online identity in a harmful way. 14. XML External Entities XXE. Think of XXE like giving someone a book that has a secret door to a room that should be locked. When they open the book, the door opens too. XXE attacks occur when a hacker can upload or include malicious content in XML, a language websites use to organize and share data, which then lets them access or mess with hidden information on a server. 15. Remote Code Execution RC. Imagine if someone could play a video game on your console from their house without your permission. RCE is when a hacker finds a way to run their own code on someone else's computer or server. This lets them take control, steal data, or do other harmful things remotely. 16. API Abuse Think of an API like a waiter in a restaurant who takes your order to the kitchen. API abuse happens when someone tricks the waiter into bringing them a meal they didn't pay for. Hackers misuse APIs to get unauthorized access to functions and data they shouldn't have. 17. Session Hijacking Imagine if you got a ticket to a fun park, but someone sneaky took it and had all the fun instead of you. Session hijacking is when a hacker steals the ticket session token that keeps you logged into a website so they can pretend to be you and do things in your name. 18. File Inclusion Attacks LFI slash RFI Imagine if you could tell a TV what show to play, and you pick a show from another country that's supposed to be blocked. File inclusion is like that but on websites. Hackers can make a website run files that shouldn't be accessed, either stored locally LFI, local file inclusion, or located on another server, RFI, remote file inclusion, potentially leading to more attacks. 19. Path Traversal Path traversal is like convincing a librarian to let you into a restricted area where they keep private documents. In this attack, hackers manipulate a website to access files and directories that are stored outside the web server's root folder and are not supposed to be public. 20. Zero-Day Exploit Imagine finding a secret passageway in a new building that the security hasn't discovered yet. A zero-day exploit is when hackers find and use a weakness in software before the makers of the software know about it or fix it. This lets hackers do harmful things while no one knows there is even a problem. 21. Viruses A virus is like a cold that spreads from person to person. In the digital world, a virus is a type of malicious software that, once executed, replicates itself by modifying other computer programs and inserting its own code. When this replication succeeds, the affected areas are then said to be infected. Viruses can steal information, harm your computer, or even take control of it. 22. Worms Imagine a worm in an apple, eating its way through and making holes to move from one apple to another. Computer worms are similar. They are a type of malware that spread across computers, copying themselves from one system to another, often over a network, without needing any interaction from a user. They can cause a lot of damage by consuming bandwidth or possibly delivering a payload like a virus. 23. Trojan Horses 
Think of the Trojan horse story where soldiers hid inside a big wooden horse to sneak into the city of Troy. Computer Trojans are harmful programs that look safe, but secretly have bad intentions. When you run them, thinking they are good programs, they can steal your personal information or damage your computer. 24. Ransomware Imagine if someone locked up your toy box and asked you to pay to unlock it. Ransomware does something similar with your computer's files, it locks them, making them inaccessible, and demands money, ransom, to unlock them. It's a type of malware that can prevent you from using your computer or accessing your data until you pay the hacker. 25. Adware Adware is like someone putting lots of unwanted ads in your mailbox every day. It's a type of software that automatically displays or downloads advertising material like banners or pop-ups when you use it. While not always harmful, adware can be annoying and can slow down your computer.